Well, well, well. Nintendo is finally willing to showcase why we, the Zelda fanbase, should invest in this latest title to the series by giving us some actual, you know, story? This trailer delivers on many questions we all had coming off of Breath of the Wild's lackluster narrative elements as far as narrative elements go in Zelda projects. It appears that there is actually structure to the events that must happen to create this narrative. It seems that there will be more pieces of an actual puzzle that must be solved in order to progress. For all of its revolutionary creativity, Breath of the Wild has never felt like a Zelda story to me. More like an experimental open world simulation, with bits of story gluing the experiment together. Unfortunately, most of the interesting story conflicts in Breath of the Wild are references to a story that we're not even a part of. But are cleaning up the mess of. This made for one of the most difficult Zelda games for me to get really invested in, and I know many people feel the same given the quality of storytelling over the last 25 years of 3D Zelda experiences. This game compared to Breath of the Wild though, looks incredibly cinematic. As my ideal Zelda experience should be, we have events happening in real time that our main character is invested in. We have more story around the namesake of the franchise, Zelda herself. We have a clear threat with motivations. We have massive set pieces to venture through. All in the service of story. The best part of Zelda is its lore, due in large part to its characters. And this game actually looks like it ties into the larger epic story of The Legend of Zelda. Games in the past brought the scale of the adventure into frame largely with magical elements that Link would need to collect and it looks like this game is doing that in a different way. The actual tears in this story are carried by important characters that team up with our hero to take on the powerful force of evil. This not only elevates the grave threat of Ganondorf, but creates once again the need for adventure in the game's story. And this time, I actually want these characters to play a role in the conflict, more so than just turning on some machine that helps you fight the last boss that you can absolutely fight your way to right away if you really tried hard enough. The stakes in Breath of the Wild were just not there. The motives of the main character were present, but not urgent. The conflict was a hundred years past the good part of the story, and nothing felt like it would change in the near future soon enough to be that heavily invested in changing anything. The gameplay reinforces this by literally giving you the freedom to go after any goal in any order that you choose, taking away all structure from the franchise that thrived off of linear progression and an unfolding narrative that created character development and a better understanding of the world building. In Tears of the Kingdom, though, it looks like the sky is literally falling because of the core conflict. It looks like the lore from the very beginning of the timeline has built to something now. Elements of divine power and ancient evil are actually coming to a head. We see bits of world building given to us in past games becoming one gigantic playground of purposeful exploration, or at least I hope that is the case. We get vast new environments to explore, above and underground, with larger-than-life enemies to overcome. Main console Zelda games haven't looked like what I'm seeing in this trailer for over a decade, and I'm here for it. Maybe these elements won't be as linear as I'm hoping they'll be in service of the storytelling, but it sure looks a hell of a lot better than what we got last time. And with the new powers we see in the game, maybe we will be playing with past, future, and present in a way where linear is the wrong word to even use. Even so, I hope that as the audience, we will have an understanding of the timeline of events, whatever they are, in a meaningful, an emotionally invested way. All the elements are there, and all the criticism for the last game has been loudly stated by many, many Zelda fans. I ultimately do have a feeling, though, that we are in for a truly epic Zelda game. But what do you guys think? Will Tears of the Kingdom live up to its expectations? Comment below what your take on where the story is going is. If you found my thoughts relatable, boop that like button so we can get this conversation piece out to more people and talk it out. Please subscribe if you're new here, and thank you for coming to the Dutch Ritz Party.